So I purchased a cheap knockoff Google Cardboard unit online for a couple of bucks, like two bucks or something. And got it in, got it working. It seems to work fine enough. I don't know if it's uh, the best unit in the world by any means. Um, this is my Nexus 4, but I also have a Nexus 6P, which I'm recording with right now. When I put the Nexus 6P in, though, it doesn't quite fit. It's much too wide. Uh, it's very tall, like uh, from top to bottom of the phone. So it sticks out um, on each end. And then the other problem that I noticed um, once I try to close around is that this part doesn't close all the way. You can kind of only get it closed uh, part way. So that was the second problem. And the third problem I ran into is that the magnet switch doesn't trigger uh, anything on the Nexus 6P because of the placement uh, of the magnet sensor on the 6P. So, um, so this button doesn't actually work or do anything. So I was looking at trying to figure out how to make this solution work a little bit better for me because I don't feel like spending more money on this uh, to try it out just for grins and giggles. So I just want to show you the fix that I came up with. Um, the first thing is, if I was to do this again, and I won't, I don't think I'll change it on mine, it seems to hold well enough, but if I was to do this again on this side, I would put this Velcro tab the other way. I would put it horizontally and this one to match, and that way when it's closed part way, it's going to just have that much more surface area to, to connect with. Uh, this one, if you really wanted, you could cut it in half and move uh, a tab more closer to the middle and then the other piece to match here. Um, and, then, uh, and then you kind of have three points of contact. Uh, you don't want to put this one horizontally because that's where we're going to put the magnet. So for one of the magnets, I just took some, some of this double stick tape. I put a piece of double stick tape on the back of the magnet. Uh, nothing too elegant or fancy. And uh, I will put the magnet right here on the cardboard. So, um, so now when the 6P is operational and in the unit, if I push, slide this magnet like this over, oops, uh, when I slide it over, that triggers just like a button switch, uh, this button switch does on the side. And so now I have a working button. But uh, but just like what just happened there, sometimes I pushed it a little too far, so I realized that I needed something. So I took the piece of cardboard, the flat piece uh, that was in here, and then I took the round piece that was this switch hole, traced it on there and cut it out with a, with a knife. Then I put some tape on there. And now what I can do is put this, actually I'll put it the other way maybe. I like that a little better. I can put this here like so. And now I have the exact same button mechanism that I had here. Uh, but it's on the top and it doesn't pop off, it stays on there nicely. And now I can use my Nexus 6P with my cheap $2 cardboard. So there's a quick fix for you. I uh, hope you enjoyed that, hope it helps you out, uh, saves you a few bucks. If you uh, like to save money on something like this, little DIY project for you. And then if you like it, of course, uh, you can invest in something a little bit better quality uh, with better lenses and, and it looks better. Thanks.